What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I want to do a video going over the tech that I brought on this trip. So nothing in this video is sponsored, and I actually wasn't even going to make it until I got here, and this is just literally what I brought in this trip, and I might be making more of these videos when I travel more, because it does really change every trip. So where I'm at right now is Montreal, Canada, and I actually was in Toronto before this, and the whole trip is with Jaguar Land Rover Canada to go check out the Formula E race, which just ended today, and it was definitely a cool experience. And we're staying at the W Hotel right now, which is probably one of my favorite hotels that I've ever stayed at. I would totally want to live here. So a huge thanks to them for bringing me out here. I just cannot say enough good things about this hotel, and I want to make my condo just like this. Like from the carpet, it's so comfortable, the way the bed is laid out, the fact that it has like USB ports built in on each side, the Bluetooth speaker, the light accents here and there. And also not to forget the shower, which is really cool. And it's so advanced or fancy that I took like 10 minutes to figure out how to use it like the first three days I was here. I'm just so grateful that they gave me this opportunity. And of course, without you guys, none of this would be possible. So I just wanna say thanks for that. If you guys would like to see me do this type of video on more trips, go ahead and leave a like on this video because this is the first time I've done this, but what I've realized is that every trip I simply do bring different tech each time. So the bag that I did bring on this trip is the Peak Design bag that you did see in my summer tech episode, and I wanted to give this a try for the first time because I don't normally bring camera gear, but for this trip I did, and there is a bit of an annoying story that happened during this trip that I'm going to tell you about. But this bag is actually really good, and I even brought my Herschel in case I don't like this bag to just go back to what I was used to. But so far, I've loved this bag. It's easy to take around, and it's easy to quickly grab everything. So I have all of the tech, for the most part, fit in here, and I'm able to access it from the side and also from the front at any given time. So that's the bag that I use for this trip. When it comes to tech though, I have just everything laid out in front of me and I don't really know where to start. So let's just start out with my daily driver phone. So the phones that I brought on this trip were the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And yes, I do like to use two smartphones, not only because I'm a tech YouTuber, but in general, I burned the battery really, really fast. And I also have a SIM card in each of these. So one is unlimited and one is my personal line that has, I think, 15 gigs a month. So a lot of times I do tether back and forth, whether it's to my computer or my phone. And if I wanna just grab and go, I might just go with the iPhone 7 because it's smaller and more convenient. But the iPhone 7 Plus is my daily driver and has been ever since it came out. So that's the phone that I'm currently using. Next up, another item that I bring on every single trip, no matter what, is some battery packs. And I don't mean one battery pack, but I mean one small and one large one. So I might have one on my carry-on and one in my check-in luggage. And the ones that I've been using for a few years now are from Anchor, and that is the Anchor PowerCore Plus, the 10,000 and also the 20,000 models. So the 20,000 milliamp hour one, for example, has a USB-C port, so I can actually charge my MacBook Pro no problem, which is really nice. And the one that I use the most is probably the 10,000 because I can just toss it in my pocket, have a cable running out of it and charge my phone even though it only has one port. There's also a 10 level battery indicator on each of these so you're able to just check the status at any given time very easily and they're able to charge your phone at maximum speed because both is also quick charge 3.0 compatible so it just depends on which one in terms of size works best for you but I love using these battery packs and it is a must have. If you guys might have noticed a lot of hotels now do have USB ports that are at the nightstand and stuff to charge your smartphone but I still always like to take this because I simply have more tech to charge than the average person. This is also from Anchor and it has four USB ports that allows me to just plug in a product to charge and it just plugs into a single outlet. There isn't anything crazy about it, but it charges at maximum speed and works very nicely. And I think it's also a must have for travel. I also like to use a single carry bag for something like this and also all of my cables. And I do also like to have one as a grab and go, which is most likely going to be the lightning cable to charge up an iPhone if I wanna just take it out of the top of the compartment of my backpack and just plug it into the phone while it's charging. As for the laptop that I brought on this trip, it is the MacBook Pro 15 inch with Rena display from 2016 with the touch bar. And I don't normally bring this on my trips because I don't normally have to video edit and I would rather just save that for when I get home. It's just much less stressful. But if you guys know, I did spill coffee on my 12 inch Mac. So I currently don't have a portable computer. I still need to get on that. So here's my MacBook Pro. And in terms of battery life, it just isn't that great. But what I do like about taking my main computer is simply because it has everything I need because this is a computer I use every single day to edit all my videos since about last November. So everything here is on it and I'm able to just take all my work with me. The mouse that I brought with me on this trip is a Logitech MX Master 2S mouse, and I know this isn't the most practical option, but it just feels at home when I'm using it because I use this every single day, and it is a bit bulky, but with the Peak Design bag, I have tons of extra space, so I decided to take this mouse with me, and I know that they do have the Anywhere model, but I gave that to my dad for Father's Day, so I'm sure he's enjoying that right now. 
So with a MacBook Pro, I do have a ton of dongles that I have to bring around with me, but there are a few other small accessories that I like to bring and I have been for quite a while now and I think it's very handy to have. First off, I have a lightning to SD card adapter and what this allows me to do is actually just take the SD card out of my Canon 5D and just plug it into my iPhone and put it into Lightroom and edit the raw photo and from there just make the tweaks that I need to, the lens corrections and stuff like that, export it, then put it into Visco, add a filter and just finish up the image for social media from your phone. Another small accessory that isn't really that important, but I personally find it very useful, is a battery charger for my camera. And I know they make this for a number of cameras out there, but what's special about this is that it has a micro USB port for you to charge it. So I'm able to plug it into the Anchor battery pack via micro USB and just charge up my batteries for the camera wherever I am. So the camera stuff that I brought on this trip is the Canon 5D Mark IV body and also a Sigma 24 to 35 lens art, which is also an F2 aperture. And I love it because it is compatible with full frame so I can use it with my Panasonic G7 and also the Canon 5D. What you're seeing this video filmed on right now is the Panasonic G7 and I'm borrowing a 14 to 42 millimeter lens because yesterday I was at the racetrack and I always just look at my phone and walk around and I don't like to use a strap on this camera because honestly it looks kind of dorky. So I was holding it just with one hand and I think I stepped on a plastic bag and stuttered and the camera just went flying but my phone just stayed put in my hand. So yeah, this lens is in a few pieces now and I need to get this fixed. So apologies to B&H if you're watching this video, but I think the Canon 5D Mark IV is fine. So that's definitely a good sign, but I do need to get this lens fixed and I wanna get it back as soon as possible because I love this and it's what you've been seeing for the past few videos. So the Canon 5D Mark IV, I've borrowed a few times since it came out, but this is the first time I think I really used it. So I really love it so far. And if you look at the photos, I can tell you that the results actually look pretty good considering I edited most of these photos just on my iPhone. As for some toiletry items, of course, this is tech as well. And here I've got the Philips Sonicare toothbrush, electric toothbrush. And I think I did do a review on this, but I've had this for a few years now. And it's just really handy to take on the go. It isn't too big, it charges wirelessly, and the battery life is really nice. And yeah, it's an electric toothbrush. And I just wanted to show you guys because this does count as a piece of tech. And it also has a travel case that allows you to store the different brush heads and also plug it into charge. And it also carries some charge as well, which is nice. But one huge complaint I have is that the port for the charging on the case is mini USB. And I don't know anything that still uses that, but as a toothbrush, I've had this for a few years now and I use it at home and when I travel, I just like to take it with me. One of my newest pickups on this trip, I literally ordered this to my hotel when I arrived in Toronto, is a steamer from Conair. And I saw some guys from FaZe use it and they seem to really like it. And at home, I think my mom does have a steamer that I have borrowed before, but the reason why I want this is because I'm a terrible packer. I normally just throw everything in my luggage. And if you're going on vacation for like a week or so, which normally I don't, I normally just leave for about four to five days at the most, but this trip was about seven days in total. So I decided that my clothes are probably gonna get wrinkled and for $35, it would be nice to have a steamer for my clothes that I'm able to just take out and use at any time. It isn't that small, so I do have to stuff it into my bag, but you just have to fill it up with water and put your clothes on a hanger or something. Just plug this into the wall and you can start steaming your clothes so it just looks and feels fresh when you wear it again. I knew I forgot something. So one of my favorite purchases in the past few years for travel is actually a pair of Bose noise canceling headphones. These are an active pair of headphones and there's actually a small pod here because you do have to charge them, but what they do is when you're on a plane, you know there's that buzzing and vibration sound. If you turn this on and have the active noise cancellation, it literally isolates all of the sound around you. And this is actually the older model and I bought a pair of used and just replaced the earbuds. So I think I got a pretty good deal. And of course, sound quality isn't going to be that good, but let's be real here. Like if you're on a plane, I'm sure hi-fi grade sound quality through listening to music is not gonna be your priority. So if you just wanna listen to a movie or music in general and just wanna go to sleep or something, I think this is a really good investment and is easily one of my favorite purchases because I'm able to just tune out completely for the entire flight and sit down and just watch a movie. This week in general though has just been full of tech, whether it was checking out the new Jaguar electric car that's coming out next year or the whole Formula E race in general where each car is electric power only. I'm also really sorry if I sound sick in this video and all of the others that you're going to be seeing lately because I'm simply just too overwhelmed lately in terms of work, travel and all that and I'm having a ton of fun doing it but it has caught up to me and I'm just trying to catch up on sleep and try to stay healthy at the same time so hopefully I won't be sick for much longer. Otherwise, this is just a really quick video of the tech that I brought on this trip because I actually have to head out and meet for dinner now. So I'm just trying to squeeze this video in and I fly out tomorrow morning. But thanks for watching. And if you guys wanna see more of this, make sure you leave a comment down below. But I'm gonna head out and I'll see you guys in the next video.